Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you and your family members are doing great today. Today, we are going to discuss how germs have transformed the course of history as we know it. For thousands of years, epidemics have caused mass deaths and social upheaval, with far-reaching effects on politics, trade, colonization, migration, and conquest. First, by far the most fatal pandemic resulting in deaths of about 200 million people is the Black Death, also known as Black Plague, caused by a bacterium which is transferred from rodents to humans via fleas. The Black Death killed about one-third of Europe's population from 1347 to 1351 and reoccurred for many decades later. Its immediate effect on Western Europe's economy and trade was disastrous. However, paradoxically, the long-term efforts were very positive. Societies became less rigidly stratified and nuclear families became stronger. Sanitations and quarantines developed to combat infectious diseases. By significant reduction in the population of labor force, the landowners started paying the tenants fair share and reduced slavery to a great extent. In Central Asia, it had a big effect on history's largest land empire, the Mongol Empire which stretched from China to Persia. The plague destroyed the connections between several parts of the Mongol Empire, thereby causing its control of Persia and Russia to collapse in 1300s. And even the control of Russian land parts has lost in the later of that century. Yes, it is the Black Death that is the root cause of the collapse of the history's largest empire. Number two, malaria. This tropical disease spread by mosquitoes has a similarly profound effect, but this time on European conquests. Only after the drug quinine is found to be effective in treating malaria could Europeans embark on their colonial conquests in vast parts of Africa where European settlements have been virtually impossible before because they have no resistance to malaria. Over thousands of years of infection by malaria, the native and indigenous people acquired genetic resistance through natural selection because different people have different susceptibilities to the same disease, which is a major theme in medical history. Since colonists had little to no idea how to survive in these new regions and often fell prey to diseases which Europeans had no immunity to, namely malaria. But once they acquired quinine as medicine, they plundered the continent for the next couple of centuries and enslaved millions. So in this case, curing an epidemic led to a genocide. And thirdly, the most lethal and permanent far-reaching effects of germs in recorded history was the extensive replacement of Native Americans, Pacific Islanders and Aboriginal Australians. Here, the disease is smallpox, the most deadliest germ that Europeans bought with them. Early attempts in the Americas to enslave Native Americans proved difficult because they had familiarity with the terrain of their own nations and land. This scenario is reverse of what happened in Africa, because for a long time, smallpox is widespread in northern parts of Europe. And as we explained before, through natural selection over thousands of years of exposure, the Europeans acquired immunity by developing antibodies, and the natives didn't which caused millions of these natives to perish without even a fight. And finally, over the past 10,000 years, humans acquired most of our infectious diseases from germs that are transmitted from domestic animals such as your cow, your pig, your chickens, etc. But now the problem is contact with wild animals. They sure as hell are returning a favor for even trying to consume them as if destroying their habitats is not good enough. The COVID-19 pandemic is almost unique in history with only one precedent which is the Spanish flu of 1918, where it similarly affected vast continents of the world, killing millions of people. The only common denominator is the mode of transport. If it was the fast steamships that spread the flu in 1918, it is now the jet airplanes that spread the COVID-19. And only time will tell what course of action this pandemic will take. If you like this video, please press the subscribe button and we'll continue making more of such insightful videos.